Uh, ladies and gentlemen, good evening, and I hope you're enjoying this evening. I am uh, honored and pleased to be with you today in Aries 15th uh, Forum on uh, the slogan, Defending Independent um, Media, to defend that all of us defend independent media in the Arab world. Uh, journalism plays Uh, journalism plays a vital role as well as in as well as in uh, astro uh, science and knowledge that's why i work a lot with journalism and yes i uh, journalism plays a very important role, as I said, and I uh, take this ch opportunity to present to you, my dear uh, journalists, uh, in appreciation uh, to you. This is part of, of the video, the documentary about um, my uh, scientific life span in Al Jazeera TV to, for the, uh, for the uh, pro uh, Rawan. It was produced by, uh, directed by Rawan. I uh, salute her and, and, and I take this opportunity to express to her that I really appreciate all her efforts. Thank you very much, Rawan. I was born in Casablanca in Morocco. I'm a researcher in astrology in France. And, and to study uh, astronomy, I do missions, scientific missions and expeditions to, the, to uh, set uh, universal astro astrologers at, and observatories to watch uh, the movement of the stars uh, in the ends of the world in difficult and human uh, difficult circumstances. And, and this is just to observe the changes that take place in uh, stars. For instance, in in this in these missions, like the mission mission to the Antarctic, the South Pole, we did uh, we uh, we uh, watched the uh, measure the rays of uh, of stars, and this is what uh, the. Uh, the telescope, James Telescope, uh, does it, uh, and through the uh, the analysis of the shadows, we're able to get the, co the chemical components in the uh, 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 stars uh, or the space. Uh, bodies and through the ultraviolet uh, X-rays, can know it, is this coming closer or getting uh, farther from the planet? And this is how we study the spaces the, uh, and the uh, distances. However, the more we look farther into the universe, the more we see it's young and. The more the telescope mirror is bigger, the more that we go into the depth of the universe. And that's why we've set the biggest telescopes in the world and, and in the, and, and in the uh, driest uh, desert in the world, Atacamanca in Chile. Atamanca in Chile. Uh, there are four tele big telescopes, humongous telescopes that work for once uh, due to the interference of light as if they act as if they're one telescope and its mirrors, uh, sphere is one mirror. Uh, uh, so this is that hey, how we can see a person who is walking on the uh, uh, moon, and and another one is that as my mentioned is eight meters, and on each point in these uh, we set um, 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 tool to to measure the uh, shadow. So. The spectrum, so we were able to discover uh, stars that are outside the solar cycle, and we tried and contributed in the development of the uh, th uh, the, de uh, the development of a star uh, theory, which is very important in order to understand how the universe works. Media, 
uh, platforms have uh, contributed in the discovery of uh, in these discoveries and in raising the aware, uh, awareness of about it in general. So uh, journalism plays a vital role, and because of uh, uh, journalism, we know where it is located and uh, how it is done. Thank you very much, journals and journalists. But, but, but such telescopes are on the planet here, and, uh, and this is how uh, we, we have to watch day and night, uh, which is formed by the uh, day and night cycle. And, and this uh, forms a shortage in data that, uh, uh, that makes the law for seeing the uh, vibrating uh, stars, which we we call the star, uh, the uh, candles of stars, and which is very important to study the universe. This is a problem, and we need to keep uh, uh, away or to get rid of uh, this um, uh, cycle of uh, uh, that the the, the uh, uh, planet is uh, going around itself. And this is why I've set a, a universal uh, astronomic uh, as, uh, observatory in the mid of the uh, South Pole. It's a very uh, difficult area. Nobody can make it there. But this is the the polar night uh, is about uh, six consecutive months. So there is uh, no problem with the shortage of the data. At the same time, as you notice here, in this uh, in this uh, uh, linear uh, and light uh, data data i've discovered uh, that there is uh, i've discovered uh, the uh, the rays discovered uh, the first detection of gravity waves which is very important uh, to learn uh, and also uh, uh, إنها خطوة صغيرة لمرأة وبطريقة لكنها قفة عملاقة لعلم الفلك وهذا بالتأكيد نعم إنها خطوة كبيرة لعلم الفلك لكن المهمة كلها كوارت وتحديات كانت بعثتي الأولى إلى القطب الجنوبي في سنة 2005 دامت عدة أشهر تحت ظروف مناخية وبشرية جد قاسية مثلا عندما نريد الوصول إلى القطب الجنوبي لا بد من عبور المحيط المتجمد وهذا المحيط يعتبر أكبر محيط هيجان مع كوارت وعواصف تلجية شديدة وغير ذلك وعند الوصول في هذا المكان القطب الجنوبي الحرارة تصل هناك إلى 85 درجة مئوية تحت الصفر وهذا المكان يعتبر أكبر صحراء جفافا في العالم بالطبع وفي هذا المكان الارتفاع يدوم أربع آلاف متر وهذا يشكل عنه نقصان في الأكسجين ومشاكل في الدورة الدموية لذلك هناك كنا نعمل ببطء نتمشى ببطء وكل شيء كان ببطء كانت جهودنا متقلصة إلى ثلاثين في المئة من المجهودات العادية كأننا كنا في رحلة فضائية وكان كل يوم يوم للتحدي وللبقاء على قيد الحياة إنه مكان جد منعزل إنه مكان جد منعزل لا يوجد فيه أي كائن بشري وكذلك هناك مشكل السحاب الأبيض عندما يأتي فجأة يغطي الأنظار ولا نرى ولا شيء وهذا يدوم أيام أسابيع وأش أو أشهر لا نعرف وهذا يعني يهون في سبيل العلم Fine, as long as it's done for the purpose of human 
uh, uh, issues serves the humanity and for science purposes, scientific purposes. And now I contribute into making this uh, uh, as a as a, a symbol for a sustainable uh, development and this observatory is there it uh, competes with uh, space uh, uh, t telescopes and uh, satellites because it's not polluted and it's preserved in the climate of antarctica just for science and knowledge in uh, being tolerant and, and being professional No sustainable peace without science and no science without uh, accountable uh, journalism. And thank you very much.